Hi guys! <laughs> Welcome back to another Home of Jess episode slash a normal vlog. I just thought this week let's just put everything together because I'm kind of doing like normal stuff, mum stuff, work stuff but then I'm also doing quite a bit for the house. So it is Wednesday I believe. I know I'm late with starting the vlog. Yeah it's Wednesday. Apologies. I know I usually start this on a Monday. Let's move closer because I'm shouting at you. Yeah, I usually start on a Monday. Even if I'm not talking with you guys or like catching you up, I still like to start on a Monday. So sorry about that. But as you can see, I've got a delivery. Um, my main goal this week is to start making this house feel like a home by bringing in like furniture and decor pieces mostly decor pieces i'm not buying any new furniture really other than like i want to get an armchair and that's about it everything else is like bought i showed you guys in about two videos ago now a walkthrough of the whole house which if you haven't seen go and check out i showed you guys like the before and afters what it's currently looking like and showing you guys like the next steps and the next plans for the house all of the bedrooms in the house are finished all except mine and corey's room that is the last room to be done but in this vlog we're going to start painting the guys i'm so I'm, I'm itching to paint this room because like go back and watch the room's blue guys the room's blue so yeah that room's just gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be so satisfying for me to paint and to just that's the last room that needs to be painted obviously like i said i think i mentioned this before the whole house needs to be like touched up here and there because i kind of just like painted for the sake of painting but now I need to like finalize it, make it look cute, whatever. Anyway, let's do an Ikea unboxing. I also got a new lampshade for Arlo's room. I'll show you that when I go upstairs. But today is mainly being spent outside the house. I'm planning a fun little project that I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys about because by the time this video is out, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be announced. We will catch up upstairs. I'm going out today. I've got an event later today with Kate Somerville and I'm having a pedicure. I've not had a pedicure in a minute, so feel bad for the lady that's gonna be doing my toes. <laughs> but it's gonna be a nice day out. It's a gorgeous day today in Manchester. And yeah, stop talking, let's do this unboxing. <laughs> It is just, hello. Like I said, it didn't get too many fun stuff from my kit. The thing I'm most excited about that I'm actually gonna build like right now. Why are we slanting? Yeah, please ignore if you can hear building work in the background. Literally next door has been doing work for days now. Anyway, the thing I'm most excited about is the lamp because the floor lamp in the living room currently, I will show you. I just don't love her. I got it when I was in the old house. I remember it was around Christmas time I got it. I was pregnant and it looked it looked nice for that space and what I'm learning with each house that I move into is obviously every space is different every vibe and feeling aesthetic for the house that you live in is going to be different so if you are a serial mover like me <laughs> you will learn that with every house comes a different style a different aesthetic so that's what I'm learning that's what I've learned um, and it's like kind of obvious at the same time but then again like you would think you would buy things that would just work everywhere you live so i'm hoping with this place the next place we live it just works anyway so i got three four four of these hanging rails i think that's what you call them i think i showed you guys in the last home with just episode where we got all those nursery furniture gorgeous i love the furniture we got a three-piece set we got the cot the chest of drawers and the wardrobe however the wardrobe is just a bit too big for the room i would have loved to have it in i would have loved to have had it in there because it's a three-piece set it goes together you know the vibes um but unfortunately the room is just too small to have all of it in but luckily we were on the hunt for a wardrobe anyway for my daughter amara so we moved her ward the wardrobe in there now the wardrobe's in her room and it looks amazing but for Arlo's room, all of his clothes are in the chest of drawers. They all fit, but I wanted space for like the bulkier stuff, the chunky stuff like his cardigans, jackets, coats, like bigger stuff and even like cute clothes that we just want on display. Um, I wanted space, like hanging space for that. So that's what I got these rails for. And I think gold is like the perfect touch for his room because so for his room, we got a black curtain rail 
which we started looking at it and we were like, I think gold definitely suits his room better. The whole vibe of his room, I think gold is just a better accent color rather than black. So I've ordered a brass gold curtain rail off Amazon that's coming tomorrow. And we're gonna use the black one for Amara's room because Amara also wants curtains in her room and we've got pink curtains that we can just hang up. Anyway, so yeah, we got this in gold. I've got four of these. So I'm gonna be using I don't think I'll need to use that much, honestly. I think I'll need like one or two, two maximum, but I bought four <laughs> because I wanted to put some in the kitchen as well. So in the kitchen, we already have a cloth rail, but it's black and it's, it's not even black. I think it's like gray. It's not very nice. So I got one to replace that and I got another one to like hang pots and pans and stuff. And I also got these gold hooks that go with it. So I thought for the kitchen, that'd be really cute. I also picked up two of these shelves for my daughter's room because my son already has these we already got him two for his room but my daughter she's a book lover and we wanted some like ones on display this isn't even a book like shelf it's literally just a spice rack but i've seen everyone do it as a hack so i'm just gonna do that i think i'm gonna paint it as well because it is just this light wood which i think is cute but I think it would be even better if it was painted. So I'm gonna get some of her leftover paint, the same color as her room, I think the pink, or even like a cream. Paint it, let it dry, and hang it up in her room. And then the main thing I got is the lamp, which obviously is too big to show you, but I'm actually gonna build it now. I'm gonna build it right now because I'm too excited. Um, the living room is way too loud <laughs> currently with the building work. So I'm just gonna add some music slash a voiceover and I will show you what it looks like. I'm so excited to get this. Beginnings on the cusp, on the cusp. Not too old to adjust. Old dog, new tricks. Remember, I was just a pup. Son, I'm gonna have to speed this up because I've got a very grumpy boy down there. Poor thing. He's seething and tired. Um, but this is the lamp. I hope it's not too bright on camera. Absolutely obsessed. Please excuse the floor. Excuse the why is that weird, weird table over there. So you can see the old lamp used to be in this corner. Here she is. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell this on Marketplace because I don't know, it's not it's not what I'm feeling for in here. I could also just move this into the dining room. I'll do that now and see what it looks like, but that used to be over here. I need to move Amara's chair and get it reupholstered. I'm getting some artwork for back here. <laughs> and then the light is over here. I love what it looks like. Oh yeah, we picked this new cushion up yesterday from TK Maxx, it was on sale. It was like, like six pounds. Same size as Arlo, as you can see. I need some new cushions, but like, I just need to replace the ones that I have because I've got so many, but they're not good quality. Like this cushion is really, really plump. Like it's full compared to this, flat as a pancake. So I need to get myself some new ones, but yeah, that's the new lamp. All right, okay, we're upstairs. Everything is situated. I've got a grumpy teething baby, so we're gonna do this quickly. This is the lampshade I got for his room. I hope you can see it properly. It's got this red, accent and i love the pleats i just thought this room needed some color some different shapes in here because it's all very rectangular it's very rectangular in here isn't it you're soaking your whole hand yeah very rectangular in here so i got this lampshade from m and s i'll link it down below hi handsome boy hi <laughs> That's him and his curve, he looks so tiny. Anyway, um, his room's estate, so I'm not gonna show you properly. But this is his current um, lighting situation. So we're gonna change it into a gold pendant and then we're gonna add this because I think, look at it. I think it just goes with the room so nicely. And then we've got his chest of drawers situation here, which this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like in gold. <laughs> and then we're gonna add some artwork all around and those gold rails that I showed you guys, I'm thinking of either having it like high up here or high up over here um, or even around this bit because this is an empty space. So even like two of them here or one over here. I am like super glowy. Um, don't think the camera's doing it justice. I got some new products in PR. I got some new products in PR from 
Sol de Janeiro. I think I'm saying the brand correctly. I always butcher the name. As you know, they are known for that. This is not an ad, by the way. This, these products were gifted, but it's not an ad. Um, I wasn't paid to talk about this. I just love the products. As you know, they are known for their body mist, their body perfumes. So I have this one and oh, I have put this one on today, this pink one. It is Black Amber Plum Vanilla Woods. This is so summery. This, where is it gone? This has like a hint of like caramel nuts woody musky much more sweet than this but i put this one on today and i just love her i just love her i need to spray more i just love her um but yeah they also they sent me i don't know if these are new but i haven't seen these before they sent me their copper cabana bronze glow oil this stuff and their bum bum body oil this combination is is what this is on top of my buff like routine my skincare routine in my bath yeah this stuff is so good um i put it on and i was like i thought it was going to be like a tanner or something to enhance the melanin <laughs> but it's not it's it's literally just a body glow body oil with like shimmering speckles in it so yeah put that on i'm literally about to do my hair and run out because i was meant to leave earlier but Arlo wasn't sleeping, so I didn't want to leave Corey to chaos, basically. Um, I'm going to be putting these earrings in. I'm pretty sure I got these from H&M. These, like, stud ones. I'll put one in, but I wear headphones. I need to get new earphones because I actually really don't enjoy my headphones anymore. I thought I did. Um, that's what they look like. Stunning. It's such, like, a little statement. Um... But I'm going to be bringing these with me because I, like I said, I'm wearing headphones, not earphones. So I could actually bring my earphones today, but I don't like the wire. Maybe I'll get myself some new ones today. Anyway, I digress. Um, what are they saying? Yeah, I'm about to straighten my hair because it's just really unnecessarily wavy. I haven't curled it or anything, so I don't know why. I don't know why she's being wavy. Talking about my son, he is awake why is he awake do you know what i should do i should like do the crimp do the wave but i don't have the time to do that it's like slightly curly can you see why um i'm just gonna straighten it because i don't really have the time to be crimping it or doing any funky curls but yeah like i said this vlog is kind of be gonna be like a mix of like home with jess and normal what i get up to in my week this is the only event I have this week, so I'm not going to be out the house too much. I was out the house yesterday with Amara just to do some home browsing, home shopping, but that was a really unsuccessful trip. The only thing we did get was that pillow that I showed you guys. But other than that, didn't get anything else really um, for the house. Also, for the girlies that wear extensions and wigs and stuff, why did no one put me onto closures? why did no one put me onto closures the girlies have been talking about closures i've seen people with closures i've had a couple friends tell me about closures but i've just never i've never taken to closures until until now and i'm i don't think i'm going to go back honestly to full lace because that is just so it's so high maintenance it's so unnecessarily stressful and because of my job i always feel like if it's not laid and if it's not like melted or whatever that i'll get slaughtered and i do because i think my hair's only ever been like melted or whatever once or twice <laughs> once was from a professional the second time the lace was just really good so yeah i just can't be asked for that stress plus a full lace is just not practical for my day-to-day -day life like i like the convenience of having it off taking it off this is a random wig chat but like i like the convenience of having being able to take it on and off basically like, as i please and the gluing i don't have the time i've got two kids i'm busy like it's just not it's not it's not worth my time my energy basically I'm literally not even straightening my hair properly i know you're gonna be like just you need to do the comb method or whatever i can't be asked i, I can't be asked i don't have the energy to be doing all of that today as long as it's straighter okay as long as it's straighter than how it was before but i don't like myself with straight hair i just don't i don't know what it is i just don't think it frames my face as nice as 
curls do. That is the hair, that is the look. The outfit is really simple today. I feel like having layers. I feel like I, just, I need to cut layers. Like I need to cut layers. I don't have the time. I don't have the time because I will find the time to cut layers on my hair. Anyway, my son's awake. Let me go grab him. Say hi everyone. He doesn't want a nap. I don't know what it is these days. He's, are you seven months old? No, you're not. Is that true or am I wrong? I feel like I'm wrong. He's not seven months old. But if he is, then that's that's really sad, isn't it? Excuse me, I've got my body oil on. I've got my body oil on and you're dribbling all over me. He's very happy though, so I can't complain. He's a very happy boy. Mama. No, 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 no. You didn't, you're not saying anything. Mama. Mama. <laughs> Mama. He says it when he's like babbling. Like he just goes mama, 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 mama. But it's never intentional. It's it's just never intentional. Um, yeah, so I'm ready. I'm all set to go. I just need to pack my bags. I need to actually let me grab these because I'm gonna forget earrings. Um like I mentioned, I think I did, it's for Kate Somerville and I'm going to get a pedicure, like I said. I think I mentioned before, I'm just I feel so bad for the lady or the gentleman who's doing my toes because I've not had a pedicure in a minute. <laughs> I don't wear open toe shoes, I don't wear sandals, I don't go on nights out to be having cute feet or whatever. So I just thought it would be a nice change because I do have acrylics, I do still have my set that I had from last week's vlog. Um, they're doing really well, they're really long, like ew don't look inside, they're really long um, but they come in handy for things that I need. Is that a wasp inside my bedroom? Anyway, I'm gonna, you guys know the drill. When I'm outside the house, I'm just gonna film on my phone. Um, I really wanna get the DJI pocket camera cause that will just change my life, I feel like, but we'll see. Anyway, gonna go. I think I'm gonna sit in a cafe for a little bit because I don't know if, no, I haven't told you guys the announcement yet. I think it's gonna be at the end of this vlog, but <laughs> I'm gonna go and work on that in a cafe. I'm gonna bring my laptop with me, um, get some work done before the event and then after the event i want to sit down for a little bit and then i'm gonna run home because obviously i can't be out forever i've got these babies i've got these babies day um i'm aware i'm so like far away from the camera right now as you can see i'm like proper done up for it being like i kid you not like nine o'clock in the morning um i've waved my hair i haven't done this in ages i didn't do it properly because i literally just care about the front the back is not my business um i've done my makeup i'm wearing some earrings you can't see so i'm gonna need to move my hair but but we are taking some pictures this morning for something that you're gonna hear about in the next clip. <laughs> um, I'm taking some pictures because I haven't got any professional photos taken in like in like two years. I haven't had any professional photos taken and I need to get some. So after I do like my professional photos at home, I'm gonna book a proper photography studio photographer to get some proper headshots done for work purposes and personal purposes. But yeah, as you can see, I'm more like dolled up to take some pictures at home for my new project. And yeah, the house is not the cleanest. Like this morning, it was completely upside down. It still is, but I'm just taking pictures in the corner, in the corners of the house that look the best. Basically my new lamp, love her. So I'm just looking on Pinterest, my phone's charging. Um, yeah, it's not even nine o'clock, it's 8.54. Anyway, I've, I've never felt more productive. Um, <laughs> so we are, just looking for some inspo for this shoot. But yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a little BTS of my pictures. My hair is already like dropping. Um, so let me work quick. I'm gonna put on my lip combo actually. Put on my big tripod today so like I can actually film properly. Um, lip combo of the day. I actually can't find my new lip gloss. I bought a new lip gloss 
new lip gloss but yeah i can't i can't find it also i'm sick like i'm very sick um so if i sound sick it's because i am anyway yeah can't find the lip product can't find the new lip gloss so i'm just going to be using the clear gloss from refi and then the huda beauty lip contour in 2.0 which is rich brown there's nothing on the lips right now as you can tell it's very bare you know when i put lip liner on it's serious because i don't do this on a daily basis do i i feel like i need my proper one because this is just clear gloss has that done anything has that done anything substantial i don't know anyway we're gonna take some pictures also i got a new light oh my gosh i completely forgot to show you guys last night um it came <laughs> what a weird angle it came like late last night when i was editing um corey put it up quickly she doesn't have any bulbs in it the bulbs are coming tomorrow but it looks so much better than the other one um i'll show you what it looks like properly but yeah let's take some pictures isn't it lovely i ain't looking back and focus on what's in front of me everybody takes a number but i'm still here luckily i know that god got me so i'm in good company uh, yeah, 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 yeah. i just want to scream i just want to i i i'm feeling so many emotions i'm feeling so many emotions so i have just pressed publish on my website and i can say now because it's published it's out there's nothing wrong with the website or anything like that i have finally launched my own interior design business <laughs> i'm like in so i feel so many different emotions and if you've been here for a while if you've been here since i started the home with jess series you know this is some this is something i've always wanted to do it's something that i have always had there like i've always had it planned i've always had the business laid out and what i want to do with it in the future and everything like that so it's always been there but i've just never actually taken action with it because fear of failure fear of being seen fear of what's the word when you have imposter syndrome i'm not a professional i didn't study this at university i'm i'm doing this as a passion and wanting to share my love of interior design and bring that into your spaces bring that into your homes into your properties into your businesses like i just wanted to have this for you guys a space for you guys to feel my love of interior design and so you can see your spaces the way that I see homes and residential properties, commercial properties. So yes, I have an interior design business, I have a new business and I think it was in the last video where I was talking about like businesses and me having a new business and uh, it's coming soon, that's what this is. Um, I, I don't really know what to say. Corey just took the kids out for a walk because like I was here on my laptop like panicking trying to feed Arlo trying to do all the work and it was just a bit chaotic so he took them out of the house so I could finish everything and now the website's live I've done what I needed to do well not really there's still a lot I need to do I kind of have forgotten how to run a business because I haven't done it in like two years and yeah like it's been fun the response has been amazing like you guys just have been messaging me like oh my god i knew it oh my god i've been waiting for this and yeah i'm just i'm just happy i finally get to share this with you guys because i this has been in the works <laughs> it's been in the works for like two years um but yeah sage and mason sage and mason i love the name so much it was gonna be called JM Studios, JM Interior Design, like my name basically, just the RMI, JM Studios. But then I was talking with my friends, I was talking with Corey and I was like, I don't know because like I see this being so much more than just an interior design service based studio. I see this being much more. Um, like I said, if you know me well enough, you already know, you already know, I didn't really say anything, but I see this being much more. I want it to have a name. I want it to have a name that's recognizable, that is unique, that is inspirational, that is aesthetic, not just my name. Cause like, I love my name. Having a brand that is my name is amazing and everything, but like, I wanted it to be called something. And Sage came up and Mason came up in two different like name configurations. So I'm pretty sure I hinted on this like a, a couple of vlogs ago, like a few months ago. 
Sage is my favorite color, sage green. I love, love the color, it's a gorgeous color. And I love sage as a name, like it's such a gorgeous name. It was on my list for boy names, didn't name Arlo Sage, cause it didn't really go. Um, and then Mason is house in French. So sage and Mason, green house. Doesn't make sense, but my house is green, like my room, my living room's green so I thought it was like fitting anyway and I just thought the name was so perfect and so gorgeous so and timeless like I feel like it's a name that will be everlasting that can be used for many different things in the future hint hint um yeah like I don't really know what to do with myself like I'm just sat I'm just sat here like I don't know what to do made myself a nice coffee because I was profusely sweating I was like I don't know what to do I'm stressed because I had so many other things to do I still do and a part of me, I was so scared to hit publish because like, like I said, I have, I had, not anymore, I had a fear of being seen. I had a fear of being perceived by other people. How ridiculous, because I'm quite literally an internet personality. Like I, my face is on the internet, my life is on the internet. So how do I have a fear of being seen and a fear of being judged when that is, that has been my life for seven years. So I had to quickly snap out of it and just be like, Jess, Jessiara, like this is what you were meant to do. This is what you've always been meant to do. Like you were meant to do this. You just had to go through all these different ventures, all these different businesses. I've had like three or four businesses now, including this one, I've had about four. Um, two that has succeeded and the other one that has flopped like gray was a success my jewelry business and cover magazine my digital and published magazine was a success and i had another business that i'm not even going to talk about that was a complete flop it literally failed in the first two weeks um but yeah i i quite literally had a fear of being seen i had a fear of judgment a fear of people sending it to each other and just being like what is this what does she think she's doing she's not qualified enough that was something I was telling myself and telling family and Corey, like I was like, Corey, do you, I don't think I should do this because I'm not qualified. I didn't go to school to study this. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm still learning, like I'm still learning. And he told me, friends told me, family has told me that is a part of business. That is a part of the process. No one goes into business knowing 100% what they're doing. They have the knowledge, they have a passion, they have an idea, they start the business the business is there to help them learn. The business is there to help them proceed and to grow. If you were in business knowing 100% of everything, that's a bit boring, isn't it? And why would someone go to you? I think it's all a part of the fun. So yes, I'm not qualified. I don't have a degree in interior design, but I do have a passion. I do believe I have an eye for style, for design. And I am not only here to like provide a service, but I'm here to build a community of people who if you're renting and you don't know what to do with your space you don't have the resources you don't have the budget and you're just stuck on how to make your space fit your lifestyle that's why I created Sage and Mason to help you do that so yeah before I get like too much into it that is Sage and Mason that is my new business my new brand I'm so excited for where this is gonna take me I already am planning so many things on the side to do with it but yeah I just wanted to come and integrate in this vlog because the vlog's not done yet still lots of house stuff happening and as I say that it's currently Thursday I haven't done the painting that I wanted to do because I said I wanted to do the bedroom I'm doing the bedroom tonight I am not missing another night because I've been missing nights I haven't done it since Monday because I've been doing this all week like I've been just trying to get the website sorted for the launch today if you are in need of an interior designer and by the way side note I have subscribers from all across the world I'm not just doing this for the UK people for the UK girlies and guys like if you are in France if you're in America if you're in Canada if you're in Africa if you're in Dubai I'm here I'm here because we're a virtual interior design service so I'm here to cater for you guys um but yeah if you are in need of some interior design help whether that is designing your bedroom redecorating or you're moving into a whole new house and you need help revamping it that's what I'm here for I will leave all the details down below for you to book a consultation with me it means we can talk we can we can catch up we can chat um yeah so if you're needed at any services let me know 
and please do share with a friend because I feel like there's always someone who needs help with interior design or styling or anything of that nature so yeah I'll leave all the details down below the website will be down below too and let's proceed with this vlog that is the big announcement I'm so happy I've finally gotten that out of the way already gotten the new curtains I'm just waiting on the curtain pole that's coming today so once all that arrives I will show you if not I'll show you in the morning but I'll make sure I'm doing my painting I'm doing my painting today because I will put it off again and I just won't do it I'm doing it today I'm doing it today good morning my loves it's half 10 on a Friday morning. I feel so blissful this morning, like birds are tweeting, the sun's shining, the kids are outside playing. I've been on my laptop since I literally opened my eyes. The second I opened my eyes, I've been doing work. Um, it's been a busy morning, it's been a busy morning, but a good busy morning. I have been like answering emails, I've been doing admin for Sage and Mason. Um, it's so crazy I can like actually say the name and stuff to you guys. But yeah, I've just been like replying to comments, replying to DMs, um, looking at the analytics on the website and just planning something. Look at the weird wave in my hair. Anyway, just planning some some stuff <laughs> for Sage Mason. Um, yeah, this morning we're painting the bedroom. We're painting the bedroom. Last night was just ridiculous. So everyone in the house is sick. I'm sick, Corey's sick, Amara is sick like i i feel rough i feel very rough but we have kids we, we need to keep it moving so i painted in here the dining room um because like as you could probably tell let's just you could see the picture rail had like the paint job wasn't really good and all the door the paint job wasn't really good now it's a bit cleaner i don't know if you, you probably have noticed because my paint job wasn't the best <laughs> this is what the living room's looking like this is our new lights the only thing i really hate is how the fire alarm's right behind it but the lights there she looks cute she's nice and simple i actually really like the tree in here the vibe just changes like when you go from this room to this room like I love it. I love it. Anyway, you know the artwork's not staying. The new lamp is there. Please excuse the mess. Look at his clothes. That's so cute. Yeah, we're heading into the bedroom now. Let me bring up the paint. I've got, actually, I need to get a brush. The brush is in the kitchen because I washed it yesterday after I painted the dining room. I got masking tape. Got that. I actually should come back down, but I'm the type of person where if I'm going upstairs, I don't really want to come back down just for something else. I'd rather like carry everything I need. Right now I'm about to grab the two paints. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be, I'm probably gonna need to put you guys down. Should we put you in the bedroom? I know, I'll meet you in the bedroom because I quite literally can't do this. Do you guys like our new bed sheets? Oh my gosh, it's so creased. Um, this is basically the same colour. We also got new pillows, like you can definitely tell the difference. Our old pillows are here. I'm sorry. Why are they as flat as a flat earth is? Like, the difference is ridiculous. Um, got new pillows because Amara's pillows in her room is just ridiculous, like it's so comfortable. Love these, they're from Amazon, I'll link them down below. I slept like a baby last night. That never happens. I always wake up feeling tense or feeling like I didn't sleep. And first night sleeping with these pillows. Anyway, yeah, got new bedding from Danelm. Because it's literally the same colour as the paint. Like, basically the same colour. Um, so, I just wanted to show you guys the room for the last time before I paint and finish painting today. That is what she's going to look like. Excuse the mess of the room. Like it is, it's not cute. I need to move this chest of drawers downstairs because it's not staying, but also I got rid of my chair because I sold it. Oh my God, that's horrible. Excuse that. I'm literally moving all this now. But yeah, it's all gonna be painted. This room is gonna be a cozy shade of brown. Oh dear, the dirty mirror. It's gonna be so cozy in here. I'm literally gonna start taping, moving stuff. I think I'm gonna do one wall at a time i kind of want to do this big wall first just to get it done but i think i'm going to do 
this bit and the white wall and then do this bit after because the bed's here and I can't really be asked to move the bed right now and Corey's busy so I'm gonna do all this first and then I'll come back to you when I get started. Beginnings on the cusp, not too old to adjust, old dog, new tricks, remember I was just a pup, something dirty in my cup, clean soul, good karma is a must, still my shooter in the cut, I was stuck inside a rut. I have finished the bedroom, I've only included a little bit of clips of me painting because it is so hot today, I'm in my bonnet, I'm sweating, and I've just been playing music, watching some Netflix, and painting, but just a reminder of what the paint colour is, Lick Brown 02. Guys, this turned out much better than expected and I think, I think this is my favourite colour in the house so far. Ignore the light. <laughs> Let's just spin around. Oh my goodness. I'm going to insert a video on my phone as well because I don't think the camera's doing it justice. But yeah, I've just finished up. Hopefully it's not too dark and you can see. I've just finished up painting. Obviously there's like the odd corner. There's like a couple of corners where when I peeled the tape off, it peeled the paint with it, which was really annoying. And I've done it so many times. I've painted behind the radiator. Well, at least like what that I can see. Getting rid of this, we're gonna get a new gold arch mirror. I'm just not sure if I wanna put it in here or if I wanna put it downstairs, but I'm just in love. Like I'm just in love with this color. I'm in love with the finish. That bit is the wall, like ignore this. I wasn't gonna even paint this. I've only painted it because the wardrobe is gonna be in here. Like, Corey's gonna fill this bit, as I said many a times before. This is gonna be filled, so you're not even gonna see this. It's gonna be inside the wardrobe. So I just still wanted to paint it for the the visuals um, because it used to be blue, if we all remember. I don't even wanna spend too long. I don't wanna spend too long on camera because look at me, I'm covered in paint. What, paint all over my nails, I'm in my bonnet. But now, like, when we're doing the get ready with me's and the chatty Q and A's or whatever at my desk, this is the background. It's Mediterranean, it's so cozy in here. We're getting new curtains today. So now that it's painted, I'm gonna buy the wall light. So, cause I can see what it looks like. Amara did the pillows, so it's really off, ignore that. Um, now that I can see what it looks like, I'm gonna order some wall lights and some new bedside tables. Cause as you can see, Corey has one, I don't have one. And I hate the situation behind the door. I'm gonna get rid of it. So yeah, that is what it's looking like. Let me know what type of artwork you think would work in here. And honestly, I was so nervous for this colour against the rug, um, the rug, the carpet, but it actually makes the carpet look somewhat nice. Okay, so it is the end of the vlog, but I just wanted to pop in and show you guys the updates in the living room. I'm so obsessed with what it's looking like. Um, please excuse the mess everywhere. Corey's about to do this side. Mm -hmm. 